Good afternoon, digital transformation skeptics. <laughs> Not too many people respond, okay? Try again. Good afternoon, digital transfer transformation supporters. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. I'm Sasha Berger. I'm a COO of TSB for the last 18 years. We are a custom software development company. We are based in the Triangle. Uh, we call ourselves enabler of DX for local, national, and international customers. It's my story. I stick to it. Uh, 75 highly skilled engineers. Um, uh, we have tightly controlled processes, quality and budget, uh, 20 years of success tracking record and hundreds of case studies in the triangle. Every customer is a reference and I, I'm glad to see some of my customers here in the room. Thank you, Ray, for coming and Dan and John. So I'm gonna key on what Mike just has said, right? And. My laptop, which I was hoping to use for slides, is still in, I think it was the same chip which was used for your refrigerator. Right, yes, right? it's still switching the few guys. Okay. <laughs> so I'm glad I have Volga who has a copy of the PowerPoint. <laughs> so DX opportunity, that's what I want to kind of switch from DX to DX opportunity. What I'm talking about is, for, for somebody DX may be pie in the sky, for us, it's very much right here, right now, here in North Carolina, here in this room. And it's happening. And we believe into this. This is why we are so passionate about this. It's why we are getting the seminar together with the help of our partners. I want to define what we in TISB define. It's our definition of DX, opportunity. Driven by the customers, not a gradual improvement of all processes. Introduces qualitative changes, provides new competitive edge, and last but not least, profitable for business. That not always works right away, but if it's the right DX, it does. What I'm gonna do today is a little unusual. I'm doing it for the first time, so excuse me if something goes wrong here. I picked seven of our customers. Most of them are local, couple of out of state, and I'm gonna, with the 10,000 foot and as fast as I can talk without choking, I'm going to show 7DX case studies in my time. Start with the mailbox. It's a 50-year-old teacher's magazine. It's a print publication based um, out of Greensboro. I started at 79 by two educators who were frustrated with the lack of print materials, good materials for the classroom. So they picked up the magazine, started printing it, and got quickly uh, elementary school teacher's subscription growing. Very inexpensive because K through 12 audience, but hundreds of thousands of subscribers, good content. When we joined them, Tisby and um, the mailbox started working together. Kimberly and Kate were our champions here in Greensboro. And the X opportunity, rewind to the previous slide, survival or extension really for the printing publication. Subscriptions were not doing so great. Every printing edition is kind of in trouble in the whole world right now, right? But in addition to that, early online version of the magazine, not so flexible, falling below the expectations and clumsy. And unfortunately, a lot of budgets of the company, which is already kind of challenged, were, sh were tied into the licensing and support of legacy data systems. On the positive side, great content, still great uh, loyal readers, and still fantastic creative team, as, as well as management team, was wonderful. So what happened? We worked together. So we are now a fully featured online media publication with fully interactive support for multiple features, printed packages, quizzes, flashcards, more, browsable content, searchable content, customizable content, and the most important money maker for the magazine is gold subscription. Gold subscriptions are growing and creating a growing stream of revenue for declining print subscriptions, right? So I would call it DX, accomplished, right? This is a number which we, we plotted. It shows number of users. See this? Impressive, right? Well, don't get too excited. It's the, the gold subscription cost $29 a year. It's <laughs> teachers, right? But okay, still a lot of numbers, right? Not 18 quint quintillion, but <laughs> it would be nice. Straight to the next one, the produce box, local farm to table company. 
Courtney Tellefson used to be a stay-at-home mom with two small children. Uh, she's really the ex-champion. She organized the local moms in the subdivision with minivans, and she rebuilt a relationship with them as well as a couple of farms, and started delivering the food in the boxes. These are the questions. Here is opportunity defined. It speaks for itself. I don't think I need to speak more. Where is my food coming from? Am I supporting local farmers? And this is what we have right now. It's a digital subscription system, still boxes in the minivans. But the number of clients, 70 farms supported, 90 artisan food stores, from one to 200 moms and dads, Triangle, Wilmington, Fayetteville, and Triad. And I think the number of users subscriptions, last time we checked, was around 11,000 in these areas. Quite big of the business. This is very unknown, no, very, very well known name. But ZT extension, if you don't know it, it's for non credit. It's part of NCSU, but it's teaching the textiles to non credit, not, not, not the official daytime students of NCSU. That's what other departments are doing, right? Our champion is John Rust, Dr. Rust. Here's a DX opportunity. ZT has already owned fantastic digital content over the textile composite materials. They have phenomenal digital classes already done, but these classes were not so much used, especially not used in the for non-credit. And another part is they had relationship with foreign universities and built a bunch of relationships with the business. Companies are coming to them for knowledge on textiles, and this is phenomenal source of knowledge. Textiles, ZT, they have amazing content. So the qualitatively new idea, like a jump, which I call a DX2, leads existing digital content to an, another organization. That other organization may be a University of Istanbul, University in Brazil, or a company, or maybe Ivy League University here in the States. Leads for a number of students. These are some examples. This is how the content looks. Some snapshots. And we created, together with Dr. Rust, a registration system and the leasing content leasing system. In a matter of seconds, you can register a university or a company, define the semesters or duration, define the number of students, how many students per semester, and there is a price matrix driving all the financial part. Uh, so price is defined by ZT. We create a new stream of revenue for the ZT, for the textile university. And you can see how this content looks for the final consumer, for, say, student of the Portuguese university. Fun fact, government of the Ecuador came to them and list the content. It's a government of a... These are the metrics here, right? I'm going to switch to static. 33 universities, 47. That's last time we checked this year. Um, total number of users, 1794. Number of views, 28,000 so far. Is it a DX, guys, or not? Leasing the content out, right? Let's jump to totally different industry, insurance. Have you heard about that? DSS is out of, out of state. Our client, where is, where is her picture? Ms. Dorna, Dorna Brown. Um, so for you, those of you guys who don't know what is OSIP, don't be scared. Owner Controlled Insurance Program or Wrap Up Program, Coordinated Insurance Program for Construction Projects. It's when the building official insurance policy is used to cover a contractor for a short period of time so they don't have to buy their own policy. That's called Wrap Up Insurance. Quite creative and quite interesting. So what Dorna and DSS is working on is Wrap Up Administration, third party peer review services, risk assessment services, and a bunch of other things. And she's really an expert, and her team is an expert. So, opportunity. In 2004, well, some people call it a problem, uh, Dorna surveyed the commercial insurance industry. Research indicated a lack of quality, dependable, responsible, responsive, and integrated services. So there was a problem. So she thought her team put their minds together. So now you see OSIP online in the workflow, digital, streamlined. This is OSIP contract, how it looks digitally. There are separate projects under the contract. And there is a thing called 
third-party peer review, which makes a lot of risk to go down. So bottom line is getting information from the field to the headquarters in the framework of the contract fast and precise. So it's all streamlined and they're really cooking with gas. A lot of contracts done every day. If something goes wrong, we immediately get a call. That's how we know. <laughs> the call, it doesn't take 10 minutes before they call us. So these are the metrics. I want to just kind of key on this number. Number of trades, close to 7,000. We worked with them for just probably five years old, right? Something like that. So, and let's jump to K through 12. Everybody is a parent or somebody has a nephew. No money, right? School system, very poor. RTI is response to interventions. Interventions is a formal process, processes in the K through 12 system when the children are falling behind. If they fall behind, they will call intervention, they will put a meeting together, there is a meeting committee and bunch of paperwork. And this paperwork is bunch of paper, no, not online. They started using online systems and made it worse because everybody's using different online systems and the world is really, it's like a spider, it's getting all over the place. So Brie, out of Charlotte, Brie Beanie, she is insider of the system and she came up with the idea how to make it consistent. Guys, this is not Glaxo, this is not IBM, this is K through 12 system. Big achievement is all documents are here in the time of the meeting, they are together, they are not lost. It's a huge deal and meeting online is supported with a physical meeting, right? The other way. That system is quickly growing. It hasn't been yet two years, but we have 15 school districts sold. 65 schools, 3,000 users, influencing about 33, 34,000 students. And last year we had 25,000 views defined as usage of the document. And we are proud to have Ray in our room today. Ray Williams will switch to music licensing industry. Ray, a few years ago, Ray gave an advertisement in the London newspaper and very unknown person called Elton John walked into his room. They worked together since then. Ray managed Elton for a while uh, through first five albums and introduced Elton to Bernie Taupin, who became his lyrics writer. So Ray is now local customer, local partner, and uh, Crumbs Music Media is uh, the company where we are proud to be a, a provider of technology. And Crumbs Music Media is by far the easiest and the most cost-effective way to bring the hottest pre-licensed music to your media content. It is one-stop shop for all your music needs where you're, you can search, listen, browse, and download. And it's tailored to musicians and to filmmakers and to many other consumers of the pre-cleared licensed music. This is uh, Crumbs Music Portal today. You can find by genre, you can find music by genre, by mood, by many other parameters. There is a library of videos and you can use a Ray's invention called Assessor to try on music to the footage. You see Assessor right here. This is like a fitting room for the music. Isn't this a qualitatively new change to the licensing of the music? So we have approximate numbers, number of tracks, from musicians, it's pre-cleared, authentic, 5,000 tracks, and quickly growing. And my last case study for today is Callaway Golf. We were fortunate to work with Callaway for a period of time. It's a golf company, all of you probably heard about this. The idea is here, the club fitters. Golf club is a very sophisticated piece of equipment today, and it requires a fitters. Fitter is 
practically you can find the Callaway fitter in every pro shop in every golf club today. So the problem is, or the opportunity, Matt Henlein was our champion on site. They're out of California. Uh, they would be flying 6,000 people every year to California for face-to-face -face training, and that was worth the, the ticket for them. But we worked together on a video portal, the training system, training and certification for, for fitters, and this is how the system would look like. There are multiple chapters on iron fitting and driver fitting and putter fitting. There is a quiz after each video and there is a final exam. And if you fail the final exam, you can do it, but only once. If you fail twice, the system will make you to start from the very beginning. And it's pretty tough. So number of views was 9,800. Unfortunately, Callaway switched to another system right now, but we were together for a number of uh, months. And the company reported for each certified feeder, 14% market share increase in the given store. So a lot of money, a lot of tickets, a lot of views. I'm going to wrap up right now and say, what is industry is going through DX next? Is it your industry? Are you ready? Is there any business or industry which is safe, exempt from DX? I know Microsoft is exempt. They're going to always have updates. But anybody else? <laughs> and are you playing defense or offense? That's, I stole it from Mike. Thank you very much.